To furnish the rooms, you have a lot of options. This furniture came from a local hotel supplier. You could contact a local furniture retailer to see if they have damaged goods or old furniture picked up from a customer delivery. Scour the neighborhood for yard sales, make purchases at local thrift shops, or simply clean out your basements. In this side-by-side -side demo unit, we've placed an 8 foot by 8 foot section of carpeting inside each room. We're installing a curtain rod on the back wall and hanging 100% cotton material by wrapping the material around the rod and fastening it with a safety pin. Drape the material to the floor. Place a 12 to 14 inch trash can against the back wall and in front of the 3 inch hole so that it touches the curtain. If necessary, cut a hole in the side of the wastebasket so that a fuse can be inserted through the hole in the rear wall. To furnish each of our rooms, we've collected a small sofa and chair, a table, and computer. Make sure you use comparable furnishings on both sides so they look similar. To complete the household setting, we added some familiar accessories. Get two of everything so both sides are the same. You can use recliners, single beds, whatever will create an impressive fire. If you wish, add household accessories as we've done. Be sure to leave enough room for air to circulate to feed the fire. To prepare for the burn demo, lightly bunch newspapers in the trash cans. Don't overpack. On the morning of your demonstration, install the pre-drilled acrylic plastic across the top of the flashover room. Make sure it's secure, otherwise the heat will cause the plexiglass to pop off before it melts. The flashover fire will conclude in dramatic fashion when the acrylic plastic fails and the fire leaps out. The acrylic plastic for the sprinklered room should be attached with Velcro so it can be quickly removed after the sprinkler puts out the fire. Place one 4 by 8 foot sheet of plywood or OSB board in front of the non-protected flashover room to catch the melting plexiglass. Your side-by-side -side demonstration will be a memorable experience for the members of your community. You can enhance the impact of your event with a little advanced planning. Ask a local school if you can borrow a large sporting event game clock like this one. Use it to time key points, such as when the smoke alarm signals, flashover occurs, and when the sprinkler activates. This leaves powerful visual evidence of how quickly sprinklers work. Ask your public information officer to notify the local media well in advance of the demonstration day so they can help you promote it in your community. Follow up with them a few days before the event to encourage media coverage of the demonstration. Extend invitations to local, regional, and state officials and to your local sponsors and be prepared to introduce them to the audience if they attend. Give officials an opportunity to say a few words and remember to thank your sponsors. Have a good sound system with microphone to address your audience. We'll ask adults in the audience to fill out a brief survey card so you can learn how to improve the next one. Your HFSC kit includes suggestions for making this an effective educational experience for people of every age and for evaluating your community's fire safety knowledge. And remember, HFSC's printed educational materials are available at no cost and can be ordered ahead of time. After the demo, have your MC hand out copies to the audience and answer questions. Hosting a live burn demonstration in your community is a powerful way to help people of all ages understand how dangerous home fires are. A side-by-side -side demonstration also dramatically illustrates the unique ability fire sprinklers have to quickly and effectively put out a fire and save lives. Be sure to make the most of the event by incorporating sound, public education for both children and adults in attendance. This brief video contains some tips to help you do that. You can print out more detailed suggestions in your HFSC side-by-side -side kit. You'll want to designate one member of your department as the MC educator, ideally in uniform. Treat this opportunity like any public presentation. Prepare for it and rehearse. Sketch out a lesson plan that you can follow. You'll want to reinforce fire safety messages before, during, and after the burn. 
Remember that you will likely have a mix of children and adults in your audience, so you'll need to talk to both of them. A good way to do that effectively is to invite the children to move up front and talk to them first. You might kneel down to fully engage them for a few moments. Ask some simple questions. Do you know any firefighters? Have you had a fire drill at school? Don't scare them and be very brief to keep their attention. Explain that fire is very fast and very dangerous. And if there is a fire, they need to get out quickly and stay out. When you turn your attention to the adults, check in with the kids occasionally to keep them interested. Stay away from jargon. Be brief and focused. Limit your messages to just the basics. Plan ahead so you have clear and relevant safety messages. In other words, keep it simple. Help them understand how quickly a home fire grows and becomes deadly. Let them know they'll have a rare chance to see flashover on the unsprinklered side. Explain why smoke alarms are vital in every home, but nothing can compare to the power of the fire sprinkler system. Finally, you want them to take away the importance of planning how to get their family out if a fire strikes. Keep in mind the children in your audience and choose your words carefully. Your side-by-side -side kit includes suggestions for presenting two types of demonstrations. One where you ignite both sides at the same time, the second where you ignite one side at a time. Both are good educational opportunities. Let's walk through the second scenario where you burn one side at a time. Start by telling your audience what they're going to see, the power and speed of fire, as well as the life-saving effects of automatic fire sprinkler protection. Inform them that no accelerants were used and that personnel will ignite papers in a wastebasket to start the fire. Start the fire in the unprotected side. Time key events, such as when the smoke alarm signals and flashover occurs. In about 15 seconds, the smoke alarm will begin to chirp. Before that happens, quickly talk about smoke alarms and having an escape plan. When flashover occurs, explain what they're seeing the point where everything in the room ignites. Mention that in a real home fire, most fire departments would still be en route to the scene at this point. Let the fire burn until the plexiglass has melted to the ground. After a few seconds, have firefighters begin to extinguish the fire with a 30 degree stream. Once the flashover room is extinguished, tell your audience how many seconds elapsed before flashover then explain that what they'll see next is very different. The fire has started. Start the fire in your We're sprinklered about unit. 15 seconds. Once again, announce the key events as they happen. Smoke alarm signal. There goes the smoke detector at 25 seconds. Fire sprinkler activation. Listen for the head. You hear that? Sprinkler head just went off. And extinguishment. Now, which one would you rather be in tonight? Yeah. Compare the time of flashover on the unprotected side to the time of sprinkler activation. Point out the differences. Complete destruction on the flashover side, minimal water damage on the sprinklered side. Now, this is a good point to tell the audience more about fire sprinklers, explaining how heat, not smoke, activates them. Once the fire appears to be out, have one of the firefighters remove the acrylic plastic from the sprinkler unit and use a pump can to make sure the fire is completely extinguished. Then turn off the water supply to the sprinkler system. Now invite your audience to come forward and examine the units. Before your audience leaves, evaluate the demonstration. Find out what people learned and how you can improve the next event. It's easy to turn these demonstrations into full-fledged educational opportunities. To help you do that, we've provided suggested scripts in your HFSC kit.